Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the double link list and two operations, insert and delete. So here's an example of a double link list uh, with four nodes, uh, A, B, and C, and D are the data of like each node. And as you may have seen in my previous videos, a link list, a double link list is a data structure, is a collection of like the nodes in which each, uh, each node is connected to its next node and it's connected also to its previous node through the links. So the very first node always uh, has a good nickname, which is head, and tail also has a good name, which is tail. And the tail is the very last node. So here we're assuming that the node uh, where the data A is, look at, is located at in uh, the very first uh, place, which is head. So uh, we're going to start with the insert method first. Uh, and we're assuming that we're going to insert a new uh, node, let's call it N, with the data, for example, E. So there are several cases that can happen. Uh, one case is that, uh, you know, our, our linked list uh, uses uh, indices. So, and then, uh, you know, although the linked list uh, in general, you know, they are not uh, come with linked lists uh, with the indices, but however, we can just imaginary, uh, we can have imaginary indices. So how? Uh, I'm going to put 0, uh, 1, 2, and 3 for the indices. And let's say that we have been asked to insert uh, a node after node number 2, or maybe after node number 1. So as you see in this case, what we need to do is maybe just using a for loop structure uh, just to traverse the linked list in order to uh, find a proper location of the new node n. So uh, that's one case. The other case can be uh, when we have a linked list that does not have indices, but instead is sorted, and we're going to insert the node E uh, based on like if it's less than uh, some other values before or after, uh, like then uh, in the linked list. For example, let's assume that E is uh, greater than C but is less than D. So we expect uh, after inserting the node N, we see this one the a is less than uh, b less than c less than e and less than d in other words uh, the node e will be somewhere here as we see here uh or let me so it's going to be here and it's going to be here so that's still going to be the flow of like the uh, data uh, in our link list so uh let's see that uh what's going to happen if we're going to implement uh the uh, insert method and we're assuming that linked list is uh, sorted. So uh, the insert method uh, we're assuming that the data is received and again is a generic type uh, we're using again a Java uh, similar code so the data is from the type T which is generic means that it can be from any type maybe it is a numeric value maybe have any object or anything and let's call it the data or the data this and now we need to uh, create the node n first and again uh, we're i'm skipping or uh, those parts that's about creating constructed or creating the object so we're assuming that we are able to uh, create a node let's call it n out of the data that we have been received as the parameter so i'm creating the node n here now uh, this node is created maybe that's the first step so that's the first step that i created a node uh, like the n with the data or with maybe e whatever it is and now what i need to do i need to find a proper location of the node uh, like the n to be inserted so uh, let's uh, call or create a node uh, let's call it the for example the current node and it's going to be uh, well, I'm going to call another method called find and I'm going to define the method find and I'm going to pass the, the, uh, the data to this one here. So what's the uh, use of like the method find? It's going to find a proper location of these node n uh, based on the data that we'll be sending as a parameter. So it's like here we're passing e and we're going to see that if E is greater than A, B, and C, and then we found that it's not greater than D, so we're going to stop, and that means that the node uh, number two is the node that we're going to insert uh, the node in after that. So, but I'm going to implement the uh, method find later. Uh, so for now, 
uh, here, uh, assuming that we found this one, uh, that means that we let's say that there's a node uh, C here. So that's where we need to insert the node E after that. So as you see here, uh, well, I need to create one uh, new connection here. That is this one here. So I'm going to this one, the statement number two, or the collection uh, connection, the first connection. I'm going to give it number two. So it's going to be then. current.next to be called to this node n. So I created this uh, number two here. So this is number two. And then uh, I'm going to create a new connection, which is the, what is the previous node of the node n, which is going to be c. So here I'm going to write this one, which is n dot previous to be equal to the current node. And it is our third statement here. Now, as you see here, also we need to uh, uh, fix this one. But I, I think here, well, what I need to do, actually, I need to just uh, change something. Before actually uh, setting the next node of the node C uh, to be N, because we're going to lose the connection to the uh, like to the node D, so uh, maybe I need just to change this one to not to be number two. So let's just not have this number two here, but let's change this one to a number, uh, like have the number three. But instead, uh, number two connection will be this, which is creating the uh, previous node of the node D, which is going to be that. So I'm going to delete this statement that I have written here. We're going to uh, use it, but later. So the order of the uh, operation is important because uh, we don't want to lose the connection. So here, delete this stuff here. And now, so which is going to be current.next dot previous be equal to the node n. So now that's uh, fixed our problem. So here we have the connection number two. So what happened? We make uh, we made sure that there is a connection from uh, E to C and then from uh, uh, D to E. And now that we have the uh, connection. Also, we need to, uh, to say that the e dot next also is the c dot next, which is creating this connection here. So I'm going to create this connection number four here. So and then I'm going to write uh, that uh, uh, current. Uh, or actually we're creating the connection for the node n. So it's going to be n dot next be equal to current uh, dot next, which is again. So I'm going to also write the what I'm writing here exactly. So current dot next dot previous is equal to n means d to e. This point n dot previous is current is e to c and current uh, n dot next is equal to current dot next is uh, creating the connection e to d. So these are the connections that I'm creating here. So as you see here, there is only one more connections I need to create, uh, which is uh, uh, creating the connection from now c to e. So here I'm going to call this one connection uh, or statement number five. So five, so four, and then you're creating number five. And number five is, uh, which is the current that next will be equal to n. And again, this is equal to, or we're creating the, uh, the connection C to E. So uh, not every uh, like the connection is made. So we have four new connections and we uh, we'd like to broke these two connections that exist here. So we don't have these two connections 
uh, anymore. So that was uh, inserting a new node, uh, but we need to also talk about the find method. Now let's uh, take a look at the find method. So we're assuming again we're passing the data from the type T, which is generic, and we're going to find the proper location of uh, uh, this data or where this data needs to be uh, inserted. Uh, so we're going to start with the header node, which is our uh, like the first node that we have access to so it is head and then here we have some other nodes as you see here for example this is tail and these are a uh, B and C and maybe we have like a more nodes maybe in between uh, A and C uh, so first of all so uh, creating a temporary node which going to store the or we can assume to be the header at the very beginning and now we have uh, we have maybe a while loop that we need to just search. It's like a like a sequential search that we need to find a proper location of this one. So starting from the header of while that current uh, data is uh, is actually less than uh, that data that we send as a parameter. Why this is the case? Uh, we're gonna um, traverse to the next node, so the current will be current dot next. So uh, here, uh, what we have is uh, an example A and B C. So let's say our data is, for example, A is less than B, and let's say that uh, our data is greater than B. Uh, but it's less than C. So let's see what happens so far. So we have the current node to be header, so this is our current node. And then because the data of the current node, which is A, is less than data, we're going to uh, go to the next node. So current will be the node B. So uh, if the uh, like the B is less than the data, the answer is correct, so we're going to the next one. So current will be now the node C here. So if the data of C is less than the data is not, so it means that we are done. Okay, so it means that now the location that we're going to insert the node we're going to be the previous node of the node C. So what we need to do here after the very end, what we need to write is return current dot previous. And that's going to return in this example that we have here, uh, going to return to node B. So here our current is C, and the current dot previous is dot B. So uh, in uh, my other uh, video that I talk about the single link list, uh, uh, the find method was a little like different, and we had to keep uh, two variables rather than only one, uh, which was the current node and the previous node, because. We didn't have access to the previous nodes. We had to keep it in another variable in order to uh, be able to properly return the, uh, the node that is uh, accurate. But here, because we have access to the previous nodes, I don't need to create that variable. So instead, I can just use the connections, uh, current.previous, in order to return uh, the node B. So that's the insert method. And now let's go to the uh, delete method which is uh, we're assuming that we're going to delete a node that exists so here is uh, an example of the the method delete so if the node uh, that we're looking for we cannot find it then uh, you know we just simply uh, you know again we can find a search or we'll write the search method if the item is uh, not uh, doesn't exist. We can just uh, you know re do nothing. or uh, report that the search was unsuccessful, or uh, if, uh, or if the item exists, then we need to find it and then delete it. But again, uh, deleting an, a node means that we need to remove some connections to add uh, some uh, new connections. So assuming that again, we're gonna uh, uh, remove uh, the data that we have here. So uh, we're going to find, so uh, I'm going to say node, uh, let's say we're going to do node n, and it's going to be a 
method called uh, node to delete. Uh, it's not hard to actually modify this uh, find method uh, to just uh, do the bo uh, both purposes to find the part place that we're going to insert or maybe find the place that we're going to delete that node. So let's say we have a method find node to delete and again it is just searching is a sequential search very similar to this so instead of writing uh, while current node is less than data current dot next so we actually uh, need to just um, at the end we need to say if it's uh, while the current is not equal to the data uh, just uh, do that so again if I want to write the find node to delete you can easily modify the find method but instead of uh, saying that while current data is less than the data you can just uh, write while current data is not equal to the data then go to the next one so we're assuming we're making sure that we're going to stop where where we found the data and then at the end we're not going to return the current the previous but instead we're going to return the current node itself so it's going to be return the current node itself so that's the modification that you need to do, uh, like to have for the find method in order to implement the find node to delete um, method Okay, now that we have found this one, so I'm going to write an example here. Always, I suggest to draw an uh, example. This is always a good suggestion, a good way to uh, solve the problem. So here, we're assuming that this is our data, a word that, uh, our dad, that exists. And this is our node, for example, maybe E and B and A. And also, this is our tail and for sure that's going to be the node n so if you see here there are four connection that exists so this is no uh, connection number one connection number two connection number three and connection number four these four connections needs to be gone and what we need instead we need to uh, create uh, new connections which are from node b to e so this is the dotted line means that we're going to be new things and also from E to B or another word E dot previous which is the connection number six and B dot uh, E dot previous which is six and B dot next which is the connection number five so uh, we might need to uh, maybe for example create uh, some temporary node that might be easier to actually deal with so I'm gonna uh, create uh, a node uh, we can just name it anything uh, although I wrote it here B and E but honestly it can be anything so I'm going to uh, say node uh, B to be the end uh, previous. Also, I can create a node uh, or assign uh, the next node of N to be node E. Again, that's naming is uh, you know up to you. You don't need just to uh, use this node that I used here. So here now uh, we have uh, a node E equal to node uh, end, uh, dot next, and as you see here, it's going to be very easy now. So I, what I need to write, I only need just to write B dot next, B equal to the node E. Also, I need to write E dot previous, also be equal to the node B. And then, as you see here, I create I. Uh, created the no, uh, the connection number five and connection number six. Also, as you see here, I also deleted the connection number one. Also, I deleted the connection number four. So, and here now we don't care about the node and because uh, you know the connection to number uh, n uh, is not important anymore. Uh, so uh, the uh, you know, in some languages such as Java, it's going to be uh, taken off by uh, uh, be taken off uh, by the like the like the garbage collector or the compiler uh, by the garbage collector of like the Java. But you know, some languages such as C, we might like to to uh, to do the uh, delete operation manually. It means that we need to delete uh, the node in uh, by writing a statement. But again, in some languages such as Java, is not uh, the case. Uh, so uh, yeah, Java will gonna take care of that by you know using the garbage collector, and, and again some other languages as C, 
uh, do it manually but anyway that's gonna be the uh, like the delete uh, operation so we're assuming that the node exists if the node does not exist so what's gonna happen uh, the node n might be uh, null so maybe we want to like to add something bef uh, inside this delete method that if the node n is null then uh, just simply return so maybe before so something like here before this stuff here maybe you want to just write that if n is equal to null just return so that's something that comes here before uh, you know creating the next node and previous node node this is a case that the node n does not exist again we're uh, mostly our focus uh, in uh, these videos are about uh, like the uh, like the more general cases rather than just going to the exceptions although I'm, I'm trying to cover uh, everything I'm not uh, you know dropping out any uh, like the details hopefully this uh, explanation uh, will be useful when you're going to implement the uh, double link list so that's uh, what we have for this video uh, uh, please watch uh, my other videos about the link list about the single link list and double link list uh, which I have explained the uh, like the push back, push uh, front, pop back, and pop uh, uh, back of the methods. So something before I end the uh, like the video is about the time complexity. As you see, we need to find the proper location of the places that we insert or delete the node. So and because the find needs to do some sort of a sequential search. Uh, the time com uh, complexity of the in delete and insert method methods uh, is big of n in uh, in average. So in the best case, it can be big of one. Uh, if you only need to just uh, the item we're going to delete or insert needs to be at the very first place. Uh, but in general or in average, uh, the time complexity will be uh, big of 